Cho, at your service, my liege. I humbly trust that even one such as I, a mere bookworm, may yet prove to be of some utility under your wise leadership. Nice. I don't often get a chance to speak with such formality. It felt pretty good. Only when it snows like this would I prefer to be at home than in a bookstore. Or there is a well-stocked fireplace at home, while there is no fire allowed in bookstores. I always have to put on an act around other people, because they see me as only the second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. It's a relief that I can just be myself around you. I think it's because you don't see me in the same way. Ah, dear Chung Yun. Though he understands me quite well, one has to exercise caution when teaming up with him to go on a quest. He is making good progress in the martial arts, but I would say he hasn't quite internalized the chivalric code yet. He needs more practice. <laughs> Especially at eating spicy food. When you first spot Xiangling out and about, the first thing you should do is check the look on her face. Especially when she's just coming back from collecting new ingredients. The more excited she looks, the more dangerous it is to approach. Because if she sees you, she'll force you to taste test her latest concoction. I usually get Chung Yun to handle these situations. 